Hey everybody, we're going to be looking at some insert management today. This is something that I think is really useful in very specific situations, but something you should at least know about. So inside each of your settings dialogs for your tracks, where you can go, you know, next channel strip setting, all of that copy channel strip, we have this set of other options. We can bypass all effect plugins. We can remove bypassed plugins. We can remove empty insert slots, remove all, remove all sends, and reset channel strip. So the times that I find myself using this are when I'm deep into a mix and sometimes I've tried a bunch of different uh, inserts and I just want to clean everything up a little bit. So one case might be here. I've removed some things and now just for maintenance, I might say remove empty insert slots and it moves everything up to the top so it's nice and tidy. Something like this one, I might remove bypassed plugins and it's going to take those out and then remove empty slots and everything gets moved up. So super effective. Uh, one thing we can do is, for instance, select all of our tracks into an instant group. And now I can do remove bypass plugins if I want. And it takes all of the bypass ones from all of the selected tracks. We can do all the empty, just had one for that. Uh, another thing we could do is say bypass everything and it will bypass it all. Uh, we could, if we wanted to, at this point, also remove all effect plugins and take it back to nothing. So we're gonna undo and undo. You, we can get back with an undo function. Uh, so one thing that's really useful about this, uh, in conjunction with another feature in Logic, which is project alternatives, we can do a new alternative and we're going to say start over just because maybe, you know, I hit a, a, a brick wall and I want to do this as a start over. So now I have that saved as an alternative. I'm going to come through and say remove all effect plugins and remove all sends. And now I can start a fresh mix from the very beginning. Anytime I want to actually get back to what I did, we can go to our alternatives and go back to the original. And it's going to load that up. So it's real easy to get back and forth between these. So then I can go back to start over. Maybe I saw something that I just want to remember how I had done it. Go back into the other version. And here we are. These are essentially stored inside the same project, so you don't have to go looking for them or anything like that. Okay, just a quick tip today. I wanted to show you some about this management of just keeping uh, our inserts organized, tidy, removing them all if we want to, uh, and then using the track alternatives in a very productive way. So again, just a short video. We're going to do a little bit longer one later in the week. But this is something that I was using today and just thought, hey, you know, maybe some other people didn't realize this was here or could find this useful. And so that's why we made it. Okay, that's it. I will talk to you later in the week.